Hi, welcome to Discover Tennis. I'm Kurt Condon. This week, we discovered the UST Girls 16 National Championships at San Diego's Barnes Tennis Center in sunny Southern California, where many champions got their start. Hi, I'm Tara Eckel, and I'm from Dallas, Texas. And I started playing tennis. First tournament was when I was about four and three fourths. You can feel the anticipation knowing this tournament is a stepping stone to the U.S. Open for a lucky few. Hi, I'm Molly Aloya. I'm from Temecula, California. I love playing tennis and I started at age four. These girls have waited a long time to get here. This yearly event gives them a chance to finally show off all their hard work. Hi, I'm Chloe Jones. I'm from Baldwin City, Kansas. And I started playing tennis when I was eight. This tournament gives girls from all over the country the opportunity to get together, see old friends, laugh, and get a little crazy in the summer heat. Some of these girls are meeting new friends for the first time. Yet in this competition, only one will grab the national championship. Everyone's welcome, but it takes a lot of coordination and planning to run a national event like this. There's fun in the air, and everyone gets ready as the games are about to start. Tennis is also a lot of fun, but it's helped me in many ways as a person too. Um, I've become more goal oriented and I've become more independent and I've learned to stand up for myself a lot more. Made me a lot more independent. Um, most high school kids want to party and go out every night. I'd just rather be on the court. In doubles, they brought teamwork and determination together to do their very best. In singles, they're on their own. All the lessons and training they've received boil down to this moment. Uh, when I'm playing a tournament, I try and focus on just having fun and playing point by point and just not worrying about like win or lose, just mattering of how I play at that moment and just trying to play up to like the best expectations and try and play up to my level of game. I think about concentration, how well you focus. Um, you think about what's going well and what's not. You think about what your opponent's doing well and what they're not. So you kind of factor those in and just play your game. That's amazing what they just said. They are staying in the present. Now let's hear what they have to say about their future. When I go to college, um, I want to study pre-medicine um, because my parents are into medicine and also I guess it's just nice to help people. I get really tired of people asking me if, if I want to go to college, where I want to go to college, because I'm like, no, I want to go pro. But I know it's a really long, hard road ahead of me, and I'm going to achieve it, <laughs> do it. <laughs> now that's determination. I am Tony Perez, and I'm very honored to be the chief umpire for this uh, hardcore national tournament. The quality of play has been extraordinary in this tournament, uh, as well as the sportsmanship exhibited by all of the players and their parents. So guys, uh, what is it like to be a tennis player's parent? Well, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of fun, uh, having the opportunity to spend time with your daughter traveling throughout the country, playing these wonderful tournaments, and having the opportunity to compete and grow as a person. My name is Charlie Kinsler, uh, Lindsay Kinsler's father. I think tennis means a lot to her, but I don't think tennis means everything to her, which is something that I think is really good. Uh, she is really intense. She'll come off the court, win or lose, and 15 minutes later, you would never know she even played a match. My name is Luis Sanchez, and I'm Maria's father. And Maria is our youngest daughter. We had four boys. This is our youngest son, Ian, Ian Sanchez. And yep. Ian, uh, what do you think uh, of Maria's performance or just uh, Maria in general, her tennis, basketball? Her tennis today was just unreal. She impresses me every time I go to her matches. She's always improving. She's just awesome. Can't wait to see how far she goes. You know, I wonder what players these girls look up to. He's retired, but Pete Sampras, because he's also a really good, classy sportsman. I saw Pete Sampras on TV and thought he was like amazing. So I was like, wow, I want to be like him. My favorite superstar is Roger Federer. Roger Federer. Roger Federer. He's better than Pete. He's amazing. They all love Roger. Well, we've had a week's worth of fun. We never knew who was going to drop in. I saw in these girls a fantastic spirit of fair play. But in the end, after many long battles, 
Lindsay Kinsler came up on top, beating Maria Sanchez in three sets. Lindsay now goes to the U.S. Open Junior Championships. Congratulations on your first USTA national title. How's it feel? It feels good. It feels good. It feels weird, but it feels good. These girls represent the best America has to offer. Well, that just about wraps it up. For Discover Tennis, I'm Kurt Condon. I love baking, actually. Cookies and cakes and brownies. It's like a stress reliever. When I'm not playing tennis, I'm like bored out of my mind. I have nothing to do. I'm just like, this is so boring. <laughs> I want to play pro tennis, um, but I want to play college tennis first. And that's about it.